Pony. Oh, boy, I really don't like this episode. Can I do it? Mm. Green Jolt today to watch Return of Harmony Part 1 of the Season 2 of Perspective. It will induce a stylish yet nasty demonic villain. The episode begins with Charlie taking her students on a field trip in the world famous Candlelot Sculpture Garden. Her class consists of Apple Bloom, Diamond Tiara, Scootaloo, Silver Spoon, Snail Snips, Sweet Bell, and Twist. Charlie pointed out a statue representing friendship and victory, and Scootley remarks how the key mic represents victory would be Apple and Snidely said that Scootaloo is not victorious at anything. And Sweetbell says, Victorful is not a word. And Scootaloo indignantly asks her, What's what are you what's are your dictionary? Charlie interrupted their bickering by describing the statue of the Draconicus, a creature with the head of a pony, a body made of sort of all things. She asks her students, guess the statue represents Scootaloo guess chaos. Sweetie Belle called her a dodo. But Apple Bloom jumped on her friend's head and tells her they're both wrong. The three started fighting above them, and a small circle under the corner statue glows briefly. Oh boy, this definitely sounds not too good. They stopped fighting when Shirley pronounced all three are correct, saying that the statue represents discord or a lack of harmony between ponies. And Charlie says that each of them will have to write how the essay is about discord. The class leave a large crack spread across the Trapana statue, cracking his head. Uh oh. This is not good. Definitely not good at all. Okay. Next part we see. Introducing. Remember, that's just flying above Pony Club. But when a fast moving pink cloud set her spin, she discovers the cloud is made of cotton candy. Yum. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know, it's a weird word. It's a weird uh, thing I do. The sky is filled with cotton candy clouds and the rain, chocolate milk, apple jack is harvested corn. When the rainbow dust sighs and complains about the crazy weather, suddenly the corn, the kernel on the corn starts popping. The pumpkin fills the field. Each party is delighted by the delicious anomalies. A rarity shows up with a purple rain suit and matching umbrella. Even though as she speaks, the apple is re swell, making the apple swing in the weight. After the gills are flushed to control the squirrels and rabbits and they not be enormous apples. But the forest creature legs grew in size. Oh God! It reminds me of the creature from the um, from the cella from the um, cella da door dia paintings. I can't read it well, but I could spell it out at least. S a l b a d o r d a l i s. Later on, I'll show you the picture later on because well, God know who it is. Try to buckle Erdrich Spike says that she has new fa fail safe spells that reveal the strange things to weathered animals. She cast a spell, a bright purple band of magic swept the land, but nothing happened. On Renly, she tells Rainbow Dash to correct the cloud and Applejack to laugh with them. In Twilight, construct closer to coax the animals into eating the cotton candy clouds and popcorn and have the apples. Not long after that, Spike receives a letter from Princess Count telling the six ponies to come and like, immediately. They meet princess in the corridors, lined with the strange glass windows. Celestia explained that the strange weather has been caused by di by discord. A creature that existed in Questria a long time ago. Discord rules cause unrest and unhappiness for all points until Celestia and Princess Luna defeat with the elements of harmony. I wish Luna was in this episode, but no, she only shows up at night time. <coughs> Sorry. Now it was from earlier. I was baking brownies, and they ended up becoming a glob. So I ended up sculpturing them into a cake. Oh, although I think chaos, I, I think this could cause me that problem. He always comes into my kitchen and causes trouble for me. He turned my brownies into a cake. I meant for them to be brownies, not cake. <laughs> okay, where did that voice come from? You cannot see me, but I can see you. Oh no. Please don't show up on my video. Please don't, Discord. I won't. Besides... I'd rather be invisible. <laughs> oh my god. Help me, Celestia! Ugh. However, Celestia and two princes cannot wield the 
the elements anymore. Celestia tells the six points that they must use the elements once again to free the squirt of evil. That wasn't me, it was this court! I hate that. <laughs> okay, enough. Please, this court. Let me do this. I'll do something fun at the end so that you won't ruin my video. Deal? Deal. Ugh, I swear. This is why I don't like him. When Twilight promises that the princess can count on them, Pinky and Trip say that chaos is a good thing if Chocolate Brain's involved. <sighs> pinky, oh pinky. Chocolate is maybe fine, but when you have diabetic, you can't really have chocolate a lot. <sighs> Princess Twilight opens the lock to the door with her horn to take out the box. However, the discovery elements were missing, and suddenly the squirt's voice echoed around the room and animated to pin themselves in one stained glass window. The squirt commits on each of the elements of the six friends with the possible radio. And the riddle is. <clears throat> To retrieve your missing elements just makes sense in this change of events. Twists and turns are my master plan to find the elements back to where you began. I know Twilight's gonna get it at wrong at the end. Twilight deduced that the squirt had hidden the elements inside the castle outdoor hedge maze, which is totally wrong. As opposed to maze, Rainbow Dash can find flying to get a view of the maze, but her wings vanish and crash to the ground. There you go, Rainbow Crash. Flutter Sight's wings and Twilight's reality home and missing the flash. She appears and explains that they are going to play a game. No flying, no magic. Every pony has to play the game and get over to this course. As the spring separate the friends, who agree to meet the middle of the maze. As I've tried to negotiate the maze, she spots three apples rolling, 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 rolling. They're rolling down, they're rolling down through the maze. <clears throat> that wasn't me! <laughs> Discord, seriously! We're not helping. <clears throat> Rolling away from her ground, she follows them from the edge of the apple orchard. Apple starts falling off the tree and start animating themselves and they taunt her. Or the word laugh bully. Tell her to look into the pool nearby. She so that she's a vision of six friends arguing and agreeing to never be speak to each other. The camera pans up. So in Discord using a puppet crossing to animate the apples. Applejack cannot accept the idea she needs to line up her friendship with the other ponies. And in Discord, oh demon, hypnotize her, drain her over colors. Almost immediately, the orchard's fade, and sector's head vanish behind her, revealing Twilight. And Twilight tells her friend that she heard talking and asked her who she was talking to. And Applejack denies speaking, looking around shifty, and wondered whether she lied to remember. Applejack wouldn't lie. Yeah, she did look like she was lying. Ugh. Lions never paid. <sighs> Pinky hops merrily through the maze and she stumbled upon a garden of a balloon similar to those of the key mark. The balloons have smiling faces and are laughing. She giggled the balloon until one of the balloon strings tripped her and she tumbled to a puddle of mud. She stopped laughing. But the balloon stared Jared at her. Discord squirt appeared Pinky and tell her that, uh, that the balloons, like her friends, are actually laughing at her. Not with her, she ain't gonna deny it, but when Discord makes her friend's faces appear to balloon, she's gonna laugh and can be cruel and hurtful. Discord hypnotizes and turn her gray. Elephants pop reveal Twilight and Applejack, and Pinky rejects Twilight's greed and walk away. Applejack lies again, saying I didn't notice anything. Yeah, at this point, they started to lose their color and their emotion. It's like the same thing with uh, light, with Thunderblight. As I watched and I heard about that whole thing happening, quite a lightning bliss. At least now she's got Thunderblade under control, thank God. Uh, I hope that won't happen to me. You'll be surprised. Discord, if you keep doing this, I won't do any more reviewing. You got that, mister? Ooh, pushy. <sighs> Twilight decides to pick up the pace before the stress get better or all of them. Brady complains about having the outdoor sport, and when she finds a large boulder path and Brady with her three diamonds shaped like a cutie mark, the squid appears in the diamond reflection and tells Rarity it's her lucky day to find a beautiful diamond. The one thing question that could rival his face is sheer beauty. He starts hypnotizing Rarity, but she insists to try to walk away. However, she succumbs to run back for the rock and using her control. She chips away and carries the rest of the rock underneath the pier to be a huge diamond. As she started to carry it away, her mind of the rock breaks apart, revealing Twilight and Applejack and Pinky and Twilight. Reading and cut short, she sees Rarity in a large boulder. 
And Rarity becomes very protective of her diamond. Let me break. She used to share with others. And in case they're both not a shy, Fluttershy kindly climbed out of the hedges that she's been hiding in and started to give her another pep car. These three ele. Oh, I didn't mean elephants. Seriously? Uh. Three butterflies, like the one of her cutie mark, make an appearance but not want to be left alone. She decides to follow them. And the butterflies turn out to be the scorn in disguise, and he tried to convince her. Her friends think she's helpless and laughs her back. Well, she accepts the fact that she's helpless and that her friends are kind enough to understand. Again, Discord tried to corrupt her. The butterfly insists on saying that her friends want to know about her flaws, so she can prove on them. Frustrated, Discord gives up, gives up and hypnotizes her by simply patting her head. The sector has disappeared, revealing the other, and finally greets Fluttershy, seeing Saul's twilight smacks her with her tail. Fluttershy even knocked Pinky into the hedge, and Applejack laughed at Pinky and Pinky resort, and Twilight realized that something's happened to her friends. Her sister Rarity removed her from Rarity warned her to rock belongs to her. Yeah, I know. Rarity's becoming uh, greedery. Fluttershy's becoming flutter cruel, cruel shy, and Applejack is becoming app is apple lie. Who's next? Oh yes, I guess. Through the maze, suddenly spots a cloud that looks like a key mark. Believes it to be her element. She chases only to find Discord lying in a hammer made of cloud. Ignoring Discord attempt to be civil. Ramirez tells her to prepare for fight. But Discord tells her the only thing to really riddle about conference picking the wrong choice. He hypnotizes her by showing a visual cloud he collapses. And he drains her in color and makes a box appear, giving her a choice. Taking her wings from the box, leaving. Or staying in the maze forever. Which is really wrong. And that's when Rainbow Crash was born. Meanwhile, Twilight tries to reserve herself, saying that Rainbow Dash would never let them down. However, Applejack spot Rainbow Dash flying away from the maze and Discord appeared to tell the ponies that Rainbow Dash broke the no wings on magic rule and declared that the mate game is over. Looks like we might do to have a big old storm of chaos. <laughs> that wasn't me, that was Discord. <laughs> Oh, little white rose. <clears throat> In any case, that was part one of the episode. What do I think so far? Discord was as scary as ever and dangerous as ever. Oh, please, I'm not evil. Hey, this is just for the review, Key Discord. Seriously? Sorry, go on. <sighs> Twilight was trying his magic at the beginning, but that was really clever of Fluttershy to coax the animals and to eat the cotton candy and popcorn. I mean, who would want to enjoy that? Rarity was just, well, wonderful with her outfit design as usual, but she thought that the, the rock was a diamond that's just, and Pinky, poor Pinky and Applejack and Rainbow Dash. She and their home skin destroyed their friendship and everything. Oh, how sad. Really sad. And this is a double review, so. In for the next one. Oh, I believe this one's going to be in a swarm of evil. The next episode is Turn of Harmony Part 2. Continuing after a short recap of the first part Twilight Spark, Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Fluttershy Rarity argued the of castle hedges, maze, and catalog. When Twilight tells Discord he is on fairy claim that the elements of harmony were hidden in the maze, he reminds her he never said that. Discord leaves to begin and to the crayon. Mock and Twilight, maybe, maybe the magic of friendship can help you. Mm. Um, Twilight decided to search for the elements of harmony pony girl. On the return trip to pony girl by foot, disgusted ponies then encounter soap road, long legged buddies, which would have been announced to Twilight pony girl become the chaos capital of the world. Seriously, Discord. Ooh, picky, picky, picky. Maybe I can pick on your girls. Don't even think about it. Maybe. In any case, ponies find out to go to Oak Library, but when Twilight tries to usher her friends inside, they lose even more of their color. Rarity refuses to go inside and say she's on to Twilight's plan to steal um, from her. Tom, seriously, he looks more like a rocky road to me. Twilight finds out that Tom is Rarity's name for the boulder and resigned. Twilight rubbed hit the boulder and crashed it through the door, leaving a giant hole in the wall. Once again, Twilight asked Spike to retrieve the book from Elemental Heart, but her friends played the game. Keep away, keeping it out of reach. Once Twilight 
and finally get her hoops on the book, she finds that all the elements of are tucked inside. Which is actually pretty clever. And I meant to say that about this quick, only just once. Uh, <laughs> Me. Now. Frustration no longer. Okay, let's see. What put it. Frustrated with her friends no longer care about the discovery of the current crisis, Twilight forcefully put the element of harmony on Blessed Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rarity, and Spike. You realize that Spike is an element of harmony? Well, not yet, anyway. For the role of Rainbow Dash, Twilight rattled the ponies for planning to defeat the Scorch, but they never have to see each other again. Which they all briefly go upside, except Rarity, who has trouble pushing Tom ahead of her. Twilight angrily chuckled and bowed out the window, leaving another giant hole in the wall. She appeared outside the library and lied taunting them to stop and make a bullseye appear on his chest for them to fire. Attempt to combine the elements of power for the beat. This court. Spike stand for Raymond, but not happen. As the ponies go separate ways, Twilight colors turn dull and she sheds tears, spattered, broken shape of heart. Which is really, really not good. Awful. This will celebrate his victory as Ponyville drops even deeper total chaos. With friends like you, who needs enemies? Yeah, that can be very, very daunting. Hmm. Twilight throws away her element of magic and tells Spike that they're leaving Ponyville. However, Spike starts arguing ar ar with a seemingly endless pile of scrolls from Celestia. Turned out to be all the French reports that Twilight has sent to her during her time in Ponyville. After reading one French report, Twilight remembered the importance of friendship and created a resolve color and set out to restore the rest of her friends. Twilight finds Applejack to be about acres and Applejack lying on the ground. He's as she's dancing. No dancing. After dancing, she's not going to be walking for a long time with those old bones. Using the memory spell to project the memory of the past adventures with her friends. In Applejack's mind, Applejack regains her color, goes back to her original self. She confesses she was told a lie because she could not face the future of their friendship ending. And Twilight then performs the same spell on Flash. Which I wish I could have seen how that happened. I want to see how it happened. I mean, come on, seriously. Would have been nice. The same thing with Pinky. What happened with Pinky? Uh, we'll never know. Maybe someday we'll. They both think it will be worse nightmares. Twilight restored Rarity. Who tossed away the boulder and says, Let's never speak of this again. Still, I would love to see maybe a behind the scene episode of how these guys lost their, I mean, got their memories back. I would have liked to see um, Twilight wrestling uh, Crude Shy, Cruel Asai, I mean, Flutter Cruel, Apple, um, <sighs> Maddie Pie, if you know what I mean. And the friends find Bebo Test. Who is still brainless, sitting upon a small cloud. Discord. Let me get Celestia turning into stone for an hour. Ooh, touchy, touchy, touchy. Uh, mm. Twilight and her pony sneaked up in the sleeping on sleeping rainbow dash, Twilight's balloon. And Fluttershy tries to hold down Dash. Should that way, Twilight can destroy her personality. However, Fluttershy now back to her kind personality cannot take the aggro approach. And wakes Dash to politely ask if she could hold down promptly to grab on Cloud's tail and fly away. And Twilight, Rarity, Applejack, Pinkie Pie give chase for the balloon, which Fluttershy's pole and Applejack manage to lasso Rainbow Dash, but the rope catches on Pinkie Pie and Rarity to have dragged him down. And Rarity yells at Pinkie was supposed to secure the rope. I still trying to loosen Pinkie, and Fluttershy's unable to keep up until she's reminded about this good rule of power pony with that. That Pinkie! Something like that. With that, she impact, outpa outpaced Rainbow Dash. Honestly, Flesh, hey, you're fast. What's up with that? Maybe your dad was a speedrunner a long time ago. <laughs> and the others are now to secure while Twilight reveal back to her soul self. And that is a very good battle. We're trying to get Rainbow Dash back to herself. And this is when they confront this is what Twilight had to say. I'll tell you what we learned this quick. We've learned that friendship isn't always easy, but there's no doubt it's worth fighting for. The friendship account, the friends encounter, confront Discord, who is sitting on the throne, holding a glass of chocolate milk. He drinks the glass and throws away the chocolate milk, which explodes. Still convinced about it in time to defeat them, makes himself an open target. However, now that the six opponents can wield their elements and they combine her power of fire, gain Rainbow Dash, 
rainbow, just like they did when they did Daylight Haven. Cause an explosion, the rainbow does a stone, Sonic Boom. And this is good watching horror before it turns to stone once more, and Ponyville goes back to normal. Okay, lost in this harmony card by this card is neutralized. At the end, the episode Princess Celestia was there a ceremony. Camelot honored the ponies for defeating where a new stained glass window depicts on the big feet on the veil and the closing. Okay. <sighs> In any case, there you have it. The review of Return of Harmony Part 1 and Part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and my thoughts about it. I say it would have been great to see how Fluttershy was turned back and Pinkie Pie and Rarity, as I said earlier, but at least we saw how Rainbow Dash and Applejack were. I didn't like Pinkie being so mean. She was like Meanie Pie and Fluttershy was flutter cruel. And Applejack, oh, that's not Applejack. That's not the Applejack I like. She's a good pony. She never lies. Believe me. Sometimes my daughter said I like to go help Apple Bloom on the farm. They got friends these days. Because they are young. And they have good marks. <laughs> any case. I saw Twilight being so great. That wasn't really her. And Spike was burping up all the scripts. But also, Twilight, darling, you know that Spike is not an element of Harvey. However, there are rumors that he might be the sixth and seventh new element, the green, if you know what I mean. If they ever gonna mention them in the new series, hopefully. Here's what here's what we found out. First of all, little tip bits that you might like. A coin director, Jason Thresson, one of the storyboard artists decided to board awards so uh, the ceremony sequence at the end of the episode a short for short inquest. Inquisition of Star Wars episode viewed New Hope through part of Secret Ultimately Cut Shorter Episode. Yeah, that would have been interesting. This is the last episode credit. This is the last episode where Foreign Hunt, where Lauren Faust is actually in production. The last episode be the original theme song, and have the last episode where DHX made it is carried it to Studio B. This is also the first episode not to feature My Little Pony theme in the end credits. Mm. Sorry if you're embarking. That's my little lady. Gia. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the show and continue on with. See you next time. Bye. Hey. This way you can leave now. Yes, I know. Toodaloo. <laughs> anyway. Bye bye. Hey, what what's going on? Give me all this. Who tied me up? Come on, seriously, girls. No, it was me who tied you up. <laughs> Discord, let me down. Tie, untie me. Nope, sorry. This is what you get for being so irritable. <laughs> Discord, Discord, let me out here. Discord! Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee